In this video, we will look at how to add devices or tills and configure them within the Register Web Portal. Before continuing with this video, you will first need to be familiar with configuring stores, profiles and product browsers as these are prerequisites to creating devices. Check out the Web Portal Config Overview video for further information. The Devices area within the Web Portal is where we manage our existing and new tills. This can be accessed by tapping Devices in the top bar. Once in the Devices section, you will see your licensing details in the main window. This displays our total license count, which is the total licenses you have purchased, as well as the licenses used and how many are remaining. These details are also split between Core and Plus for merchants to operate both license types. Beneath the license details is a table showing all the devices within your account. The table details the device name, the license type, which will either be Core or Plus, the enrollment code, which is the unique ID for each till, the store it is assigned to, the profile that has been assigned, the last sync, which shows when the till last completed and update data, and finally, the status, which will either be enabled or disabled. The table also includes a series of icons in the first column. We have seen these elsewhere in the portal and will come back to them later in the video. To add a new till to the system, click the new device button. You will then see the device form, all details here must be entered in order to create a new till. The first step is to give the device a name that makes sense, in this case, Soho Till 2, as this will be the second till going into our Soho store. Next is a series of drop down menus to select from. The license type allows you to either assign a register core or plus license to the new till, in this case, it will be core. Now we select which store the till is going to operate in and select which profile we want the till to use. Finally, we select which product browser we want displayed on the till. After entering all the information, click the Save button. We will now see the new till with a unique enrollment code displayed. This is the code used to identify the till and must be entered in the register application within Settings. See our video on register settings and enrolling overview for more information. We can edit any device by tapping the pen icon. Duplicate a device using the copy icon, disable a device from taking transactions by clicking the cross icon, re-enable a device by tapping the tick icon, and delete any device by tapping the trash can icon. When editing a device, you can change any of the details apart from the enrollment code. In this example, we will change the product browser being used from the main browser to the toy browser. After making your changes, click the save button to be returned to the devices list. Don't forget, you will need to carry out an update data on the till before any changes take effect. You can duplicate a device within the web portal by clicking the copy icon. This is particularly useful if you have several devices to set up for a store that will use the same settings. For example, I need another till in the Soho store. After clicking the duplicate button, the device form will load and all the information will be copied across from the original device. The only difference will be the addition of copy to the name. We will now go ahead and change the name to Soho Till 3 and click Save. If required, you can also temporarily disable a till by clicking the cross disabled icon. This will lock the till and prevent any further transactions to be processed. To re-enable a disabled till, simply click the Enable Tick icon. After enabling the device, you will also need to tap the Enroll button within the settings on the register. See our video on register settings and enrolling overview for more information. To delete a device that is no longer needed on the system, simply click the trash can icon and confirm the action on the message prompt. After carrying out this process, the till will no longer operate. Further information on adding and configuring devices can also be found in your user manual. And if you still have any questions, please get in touch with your solution provider who will be able to offer further assistance.